Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Sunday, the ninth day of October, seventh day of Tishrei. Here we go. Today, a uh, Halacha in preparation for Yom Kippur. One of the main, main, main things that we're going to do on Yom Kippur is say al Chet and Ashamnu. That's, we're going to basically say things that verbalize our statement to God of confession. We're going to say, I did this sin and I did this sin. And there are long lists that we're all going to read all together. So, uh, let me just do a strange analogy here for just a moment. If you're going to a football game and you know it's raining, so... It's just like you, you, you think out the things that you're going to need before you go to that uh, to watch that game. And you're like, got to bring an umbrella or a raincoat because I'm going somewhere where it's going to be raining. And you make certain preparations for your outing based on what you're going to do. Okay, so let's leave that analogy and go back to Yom Kippur. It's Yom Kippur. You're going to be saying a lot of vidui or confession for your sins. They're going to be listed in the al and the Asham news and all that. Are you going to not like prepare for your outing before Yom Kippur comes? Do you see where I'm going with this? Of course you should be taking some time on Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday before Yom Kippur arrives to study the translation, just the basic meaning of what Ashamnu means, what Bogadnu means, what Gazalnu means, what al Shechatanu Lefanecha Ba'onis Averatz. And these are words that we're going to say several times over and over and over on Yom Kippur, and we're going to mean them. We sure hope that we're going to mean them. And you're not going to know the translation of what you're saying. I mean, this should really hold true for everything that we do, but it's especially true for the confession of a sin when you don't even know what you're saying is as bad as trying to nullify your chametz right before Pesach without even knowing what you're saying. Of course you would want to understand, I'm going to nullify my chametz, I understand that, so I'm going to read it in English here and I'm going to say that and I'm going to do that. So you got to, you got to spend some preparation time before Yom Kippur arrives. And don't just say, well, you know what, there's a translation in my, in my machzor that translates all the things, so I'll read them as I say them. Well, that's, that's something, that is something, I grant you that. But to just, you know, be studying it while you're saying it to God, that'd be like coming into the courtroom and, you know, looking in your law book and trying to brush up and wait, what's the law again? Before my lawyer, like, hello, this is your case, isn't this important to you? Didn't you study what it is that you're going to be saying in your case? So, in short, I'm trying to say to you, please study the Ashamnus and the al before Yom Kippur arrives so that you fully understand what it is that you're saying. And one last thing. While, while I'm on this topic, if you're going to mention a sin that you did or a problem that you had, and you're going to dwell on it for an extra long time thinking about it, let's say it's a feud that you had with a guy, and you're going to think about, you know, well, he was an idiot for saying that. I hate that guy. <laughs> you don't want your mind drifting to that in the middle of your teshuva and everything. So mention your sin, think of what it is that you're going to say and what you're going to think, and then move on. But don't dwell in the depths of the sins such that your mind is going to be pulled back into the darkness of the sin. Be careful about that. Think it, on, 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 you maybe even have notes for yourself of what you're going to say and do during your al so you'll know in advance how it's going to go instead of having your mind wander all over the place on these feuds and fights and mistakes that you made and, and you're going to be like filtering all that through your mushy mind having a scatterbrain and being distracted and getting off and back into that feud again while you're talking to the creator of the universe to say that you did wrong when you had that feud think it out before make a plan and prepare for the Asham and al Khait so you will say them properly on the day of Yom Kippur Hope that made sense. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.